What up, folks? Tomorrow, let's play Dragon Quest IX, the Sentinels of the Starry Skies. In the last episode, we, uh, we beat Greynar with that grumpy old dragon. Yes, that's what happened. But now we have the drunken dragon from the underground brewery. And we are alone, which means we're going back to see old misery guts. You've got a king of drunken dragon, I see, and no hangers on either. Old misery guts can't have a problem with you now. Yes. Let me through. You've already hooted up to the top of Magmaru once, eh? Well, if you got any Camaro wings, I'd use one. It's a bit too much of a hard yammer going a long way round every time. We could use Camaro wings, good idea. Or I could just use Zoom and go straight to the summit. And that's the reason why you're allowed to go to the summit, folks. Anyway, let's go. Yo, Grey Gnarl. I'm here to kick your ass again, I'm not. You are late! How dare you make me wait so long! <sighs> I suppose there is no benefit in dwelling on it. Tell me your name, worm. You're a worm as well, and spelled with a Y. Master Af. A fittingly pathetic title. In any case, it seems I may have been hasty in saying you were not to be trusted. Hmm. How do I know? Was it not you who drove the Imperial filth from the village? I may be old and decrepit, but these ears still hear far more than your mortal meat wings ever will. I've never heard them called meat wings before, but I think I might just use that now. If a, co if a commotion occurs, I hear everything, whether I wish it or not. But I do bugger all about it because I'm a complete ass. The Imperial, or the Imperial soldiers I knew were of a less beastly appearance, but that stench. I know it all too well. There is no doubt they are the same worms from three centuries past. Hmm. In any case, I digress. Did you bring the drunken dragon as you were bid? Give it to me now! Yes, let's give the drunken dragon to Grey Gnarl so he can get pissed. Excellent. Excellent. Are you familiar with the phrase, flat out like a lizard drinking? You're about to witness its true meaning. Okay. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> oh, you little beauty. Struth, that it's a spot. Good God. You're drunk, which makes you a different accent altogether. Oh, yeah. Sorry, mate. I <laughs> plum forgot. This is for being such a true blue trooper. Ooh, what is it? It is... The Gittish Seal. We get a seal for the G You hate the Gits, yet you have a seal of them? Why? I ask, I don't know. I got this when I creamed, creamed one of the tree, 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 whatever that is, 300 years back. He seemed to think it was pretty important. It ain't worth a zack to me. But I was thinking maybe you should sell it and make a bit. Moolah or something. I could sell it, I guess, as an idea. Hold up! <gasps> what was that? Oh, I know that. <gasps> Stink anywhere. I believe, yep, yeah, that has to be barbarous. That dark power, yep, yeah, barbarous. Knew it. It's barbarous, the dragon of doom! He will kick everyone's ass. Oh no! And all they do is they run around. Doing laps. Ah! <laughs> no! They're being attacked! Struth, what's going on? He's just standing there. No, it can't be. It's barbarous. He's back. That was me just standing there after that first shot. I was like, oh, I'm not phased. Oh, God, the second one is. Stone the crows! It's really him. Is that <laughs> Blighter Barbarous? What the blue blaze do you think he's doing? Attacking the village. He must be trying to rifle me up, eh? Righto. If that's the way he wants to play it. I've got Mastrath here, so I'm <coughs> good to go. God, I've drank too much. Guess what, Mastrath? No, no, it's not that. Guess what, Mastrath? I've got a right ripper of a present for you. Your very own set of Dragon Warrior gear. 
Hey, reference to what the original name of the games were. All you gotta do is chuck it on, climb on me, back, and I'll be up and fly in no time. This is like a version of Drunken Tourette's. Might be. That's not barbarous. Sorry, old boy, but we can't allow that. Lieutenant Hooten Gore's orders are to give you this little upstart a hiding. Oh yeah! Bring it! See what we got. We don't even have the armor! No! Fine, we'll kick your ass as normal. Time to die, fool! We cannot let the Dragon Warrior return to roam the skies aside Grey Nile. You will die for defying the mighty Gittish Empire. Oh god, I didn't heal. I haven't healed! That's bad. However, I can Miracle Slash if needed. Miracle Slash! Yes! Health! Also... Brownie boot! Yes! My brownie boost! Yes! Brownies! Brownie points! Brownie points! More brownie points than ever before! Brownie points! Magic barrier! No one cares! Meet my... Slashy! Slashy slashy of falcons! Then ordinary attack! You're dead! Brownie points! Brownie points for the win! No one likes brownie points. Anyway, we obtained money and stuff. We weren't even at full health either, and we still kicked your ass. Nice one, Mastrath. Good work. Oh god, why'd I have to drink all that? Right, get this Dragon Warrior gig on quick smart. Rawr. Why is everything shining in this game? Anyway, we received the Dragon Warrior helm, armor, gloves, trousers, and boots. An entire set, pretty much. Once you put it all on and jumped on me back, I should be able to channel a bit of <gasps> magic and get airborne. I can't be no barbarous if I can't fly. So you're with me whether you like it or not, kiddo. <gasps> right, let's get cracking. That drunken <gasps> dragon's done me a done me the power of good. This will be a walkover, I can feel it. Alright. But we have to equip the dragon armor first. Was there a dragon shield? I don't think there was. There was dragon helmet, which is worse than our current weapon. There was also dragon warrior armor, which is worse than our current one. Dragon warrior braces, which is worse than our current one. Dragon warrior trousers, which is worse than our current one. Last but not least, dragon warrior boots, which are worse than our current one. What's the point? Anyway, it's worse than our current armor. Look at you, every inch of the Dragon Warrior, eh? Righto. Hop up on me, back then. Oh. Oh, for God's sake, really? These things? Oh, yeah. Bonza! I can feel it. All the power's coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me now. We'll have. Barbed, barbied, and be back before dinner, which is going to be more booze. Let's get cracking, kiddo. This dragon is drunk. But man, I respect him, because he's drunk. Ooh, cutscene! Where are you, Barbarous? Show yourself. Boom! There go the chimeras. There's us. Over there, eh? Can't believe you're still alive. Ooh! The fight between the dragons! Let's see who wins! And die! God, this is some CGI shit right here. Actually, it's not. But never mind! Dragon versus dragon! Only one is being ridden by me! That means that one's obviously going to lose. No, it's not. We're going to win. Power block. Yes. Take that. 
Grey Gnar kicks Barbarus' ass again! Two times in three centuries! Can we make it a third? Ah. Uh... Hmm, you're formidable yet, Grey Gnar. This is not the end. Oh, God! <laughs> you look at Grey Gnar's face! He's like, oh, God, I'm screwed here. Big hit! Oh, God. I command a power greater than that you've ever known. And you'll bow down before it! Ow! Alright. That hurt. You've had enough? Very well. What the hell is that? Now watch in despair. What the? Simply to destroy would not be enough. First you must witness the obliteration of your home. Oh god. See up over. Well, the Pope is gone. I can't let him do this. What the hell is he doing? It's been short, but sweet, kiddo. See you around. He just lobbed us! No! He just completely lobbed us off, and now we have no clue where we are. Damn it, Grey Gnarl! What's he gonna do now? Oh no. He's getting the weather shot! No! But I've got a village of my own to protect. Come on, Grey Gnarl! You can do this! You can't do this! Oh, that's Stella there. What the flap just happened? Well, you were there with me for the entire time. Honestly, it never rains, but it certainly does chuck a lot. It certainly does. Where the bloody hell am I now? All I can see is a bunch of gits, which I don't like. Oh, God. This is our newest guest, sire. Sent to us by his gore ship, Lieutenant Hootenham Gore's forces. Oi, maggot, you stand in the presence of none but none other than Lieutenant Goram Hogg of the tri of the Triumvir, whatever. A soldier so loyal that he was placed in charge of the Empire's most impenetrable prison, the Gortress. Show some respect. And what exactly? mean by bringing this pig ugly nobody before me, may I ask? <sniffs> That's his official voice now, by the way. Ah, yes, sir. This is the apprentice of Aquila, about whom we have been hearing so very much. The same rogue who dared to challenge the Imperial forces on Dragonback. No ordinary criminal, I think you'll agree. It appears that his gore ship, Lieutenant Hootenham Gore, was given orders to deliver him into our care. But of course! I had forgotten that we were finally rid of that ghastly great owl swine! Oh, oh, yes we were. His defeat will show who... <laughs> look at him! <laughs> look at Hootenham! Look, look at Gorham Hog! Look at that! His defeat will show those who would oppose the Empire that there is no one who will save their bacon! <laughs> I chuckle a lot. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, very funny. But what is this, you pig-headed fool? I believe I made abundantly clear that we are in the business of penning, penning Celestrians. Does this swine look like Celestial to you? I can beckon with a hood and go and sold me a pig and a poke, bird brain fool. Oh, oh God. You messed up here. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. What shall we do with this, uh, mortal scum? 
Throw him in the cells with the rest of his boorish kind. We can always use an extra pair of hands. <laughs> I can't be bothered to do it myself. Yes, sir. Very good, sir. Right, maggots. Come with me. No! We're pretty much naked. What the hell? We're naked. Why are we naked? Can someone please tell us why we're naked? I don't know. In, maggot! Ow! That hurt. I suggest you rest while you can. You'll be able to rejoin our prisoners for a spot of hard labor from tomorrow. God damn it! Well, folks, we're in the Gortress. Ooh, what's this here? It looks like a bunch of stones. Or s something like that. There is no reply. It's just a corpse. Oh, God, it's dead! Well, that's probably what I'm going to turn out to be. So let's get out of here and use Zoom. Falls! Ow! God damn it! Uh, I got my equipment still. I do. Okay, that's good. Door is locked. It won't open. Damn it! Oi! Keep it down in there, will ya? I can't hear myself think. You must be new, eh? Well, I can see how you might not be the best pleased ended up here, like, somewhere, in somewhere like this. But throwing a wobbly won't do you no good. It's ain't the kind of place you can afford to go wasting your energy. Not unless you want to be dead by next week. Get some shut-eye while you can. They ain't exactly generous with the lions around here. Ugh, fine. Well, this game's taken an annoying turn, hasn't it? We were once the savior of the world, and now we're a prisoner. I say, what do you think this is? A holy camp? Up now. At least he didn't kick me. That's a plus. Yeah, we know it's just a corpse. We get it. The others are already hard at it. I'd run along if I were you. God damn it. Well, first I'm going to break all your pots. Well, folks, this is the Gortress. Looks like it's our home for the rest of our lives. And, well, it looks horrible. It looks like rice pudding. Literally like rice pudding. Oh, hey, buddy. Man, you are jacked, buddy. Well, I was wrong with about the lions, you jabby beggar. Anyway, morning, sunshine. I'm Sterling, your friendly neighbor. And what should I call you? Mastroth, eh? Blimey, I never expected... Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Nice to meet you, Mastrath. He seems to know something. I'm what you call the foreman round here. You know, in charge of the workforce and all that. I'm also in charge of giving newcomers the guy at Torrance showing them the ropes. Just have a wander around and I'll give you the lowdown on all the interesting bits. Is there really anything interesting here? Is there seriously anything interesting here, Sterling? I don't think there is. Doesn't seem like it. Let's see here. Uh, no thanks. The gorgeous can only be described as a living hell. Anyway, we suffer merciless whippings and are worked until we drop. I know not what solace I can offer you, but please let me pray for your soul, child. So this is where you can save the game if you want. This guy is your item shop. Which can't really sell a lot. Ah! Blimey, you gave me a fright. I thought you were one of the guards or something. You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I couldn't take any the work anymore, so I snuck off here for a rest. I dread to think what they'll do if they caught me skiving off. Gives me the willies just thinking about it. Well, you're not that... Why don't you go here? Here's a good place. Actually, no, here's not a good place at all. Here's a crap place. Alright, so, give us the tour, Sterling. Oh, God. The gallows loom, loom ominously over Mastrath's head. Well, this is taking a turn for the depressing. And they ain't just for show, either. There's a lot of good mates of mine that have been strung up here and given the gods grief. 
But don't let that fool you thinking they, there ain't no rope. I'm only pretending to be a good boy for now. But the second I get a chance, every one of my pals, they offed. And I get the funny feeling that chance isn't too far off. Nice. Well, looks like Sterling ain't a bad guy. He seems like he's going to kick some ass in time. Whoa, whoa, I wouldn't go any further that way if I were you, sunshine. Strictly no prisoners allowed. The guard tower is... The guard tower and the guard's quarters and all that's through here, see? And there's nothing sol... There's... Blah, blah, blah. And there's them solitary confinement cells down the bottom and all. Or so I've heard. The ones where Hootenham Hog keeps his, uh, special guests. The ones he's always on the lookout for. Anyway... That's by the by. But there in front of you is a shield field. And I wouldn't go touching it if I was you. Your Imperial soldiers can go wandering through them willy-nilly. But any prisoners who try get a short, sharp shock. Actually, experience is the best teacher, I suppose. Why don't you give it a quick touch and see? You won't do go do it again. <sighs> you can't go either. Fine. Wow, we... we went through it! Great. Oh, how come you didn't get a shock? Anyway, get back here quick. If the guards see you, they'll have your guts for guards. Alright. Phew, you had me worried there, sunshine. What the heck happened anyway? How come you're able to stroll through the shield fields? Ah, is that the Gittish seal? Eh? What's that? It's glowing. Look at that. It's got the Imperial Mark carved into it. But why is it glowing? Maybe that's how you managed to get through the shield field, eh? Where'd you get it from? Graynarl, eh? That wrinkly old lizard? Makes sense, I suppose. Anyway, listen, Sunshine. We best keep this between us, right? If the guards find out, we'll be for it. So keep stum. I believe I will. Alright, what's up here? This is... well, I don't think I need to spell it out, do I? Um... Is it a graveyard? It's a good idea to make, to, to make not end up here one of your top priorities. That's probably easier said than done, though. There's plenty buried here who wasn't planning on ending up six foot under in a place like this. Plenty. Horrible. Anyway, so we've seen the gallows, we've seen the seal. Stuff like that. Let's see what's up here. This is where the few lucky so-and-sos come to get bossed around and shouted by the guards every day. I don't seem that sort of... Lucky. I say, this is a rather lax pace. Would you mind awfully picking up? My whipping arm is there getting ever so tired. But not so tired I can't manage a few hundred lashes on any of you who I catch dawdling. Rules are rules, after all. I can't do this anymore. I can't go on pushing this thing for no reason. What does it even do? I say, that's hardly the spirit. This is the vital work of the good of Mother Empire, don't you know? Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. One ass. They're full of that kind of rubbish, but the guards don't have no more clue. Yeah, what that fine dog think would do, blah, blah, blah. And there's only so much endless, pointless work a bloke could do before he gets too much. In the end, it's a matter of waiting to see which goes first, your mind or your body. Hmm, indeed. Well, alright guys, sorry about that, I'm just trying to find the last thing I need to do to get the next event to go, and I think you need to talk to this guy here. This is the way out of the Gortress. Sorry, but I'm afraid you won't have any reason to come this way, ever. Move along now. Well, not that you'd get very far anyway, you couldn't get past the shield field. Hmm, interesting. They have that shield thing prisoners can't go through, see? If you could get out now, you could go up 
but to have a gander at the Gitsingham Palace. It's up that way, from what I hear. Right, that's about it from Sterling's Grand Gorgeous Tour. Sorry, Sunshine, but we can't pull off the day's work much longer. Tell you what, we've probably got a few more minutes. Why don't you have one last look around on your own? I'll be waiting here, so just come and give us a shout here when you're done. Nah, I think I'll see enough here. I think I'll see enough here, buddy. Fine, let's get to work. Mashrath puts in a long, exhausting day's work. Then, that evening... Master! Mastrath! It's me, Sterling! Oh, hey, buddy. I bet you're cream crackered, aren't you? First day is always the hardest. Anyway, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's a bit of a lo long old story, but, it, but bear with me. It's worth it. You've been here a day now, so I don't have to tell you the gorgeous are pretty horrible. Oh. Which is why I've been working on a little escape plan for a while now. What I want to tell you is that I want you to be in on it. Well, I call it a plan, but it isn't much, really. We're going to wait for the chance to smash and grab the guards' weapons off them. Probably ain't going to be a sophisticated thing you've ever heard. But there's plenty more of us than them, so it should work. The problem is, until now, what to do about the shield fields. As long as they're there, we can't get out. But if we had someone like you on board who could get through them, we'd be laughing. What do you reckon, then? You in? I'm in. I want to get out of here. Nice one, Sunshine. I knew we could count on you. But don't go getting your hopes up too soon. We still have to wait for our chance. Could be tomorrow, could be next year. I'll fill you in on the details later. So just get your head down now and try and save your strength. Alright. Well, for the moment, I'm going to go for a break here. Oh, wait. Ever so sorry to disturb your beauty sleep. Do you might mind getting off your slovenly backside and getting to work? Fine. Anyway guys, I'm gonna go for a break here, but the next episode let's play Dragon Quest Nine. More work! Do you know when I get out, I'm going straight, damn it, I'm going straight. Anyway, I'll see you then.